Hey, welcome back to the Dad Challenge Podcast YouTube channel. Today, we're going to update you on the Micah Stoffer case. I said I was not going to talk about it, but some things have happened. And I just wanted to fill you guys in on everything that's been going on. Um, I've been getting tons and tons and tons of comments on my videos. Um, a lot of people are outraged by this. I'm getting some, not hate, but I've been getting a couple hits and misses on what I guess people didn't watch the whole video, but I really wanted to just update you on what's going on because I'm pretty sure that the Stoffers really, really wanted this to go away after that video. They, they, I honestly believe that they honestly believed that this would all go away because they made a video where they cried. And it is actually exploding even bigger than that. The first night that I heard about this, it actually did go viral on Twitter. It did, uh, I think, cancel the Stoffers went viral. Since then, kind of obviously for everything else that's been going on that's kind of been buried. But the amazing thing about this is that even though there's riots and there's so much news going on in the world, this thing is still hitting a lot of people and it's just exploding. So many people have done YouTube videos on this discussing what's going on. There's an Instagram account called micastoffer.liar. So it's like a, it's a temporary account to spread awareness about the Stoffer family and adoption. So one of the things that just happened right now is BuzzFeed came out with a, an article that says an investigation has been launched into the case of the YouTubers who gave up their adopted son. This is why, because I'm pretty sure that the state of Ohio, when you give a child back who's been adopted, state of Ohio takes them in as foster. Uh, and in Canada, it's called crown wardship. So the crown takes the child and there's documented things like my kids were crown wards before they were adopted. And uh, basically they're owned by the government for lack of a better term, right? So the government is rehoming them, find a place to put them and uh, giving them money or giving them whatever they need to survive. And it's, it's, it's definitely generally a great thing. Not all the time, especially where I am from, we have what's called CAS, Children's Aid Society, and they can be really... I'm not going to get into it. It's just can be bad or it can be good. So generally we'll see this thing has caused such an uproar that this company has been called or this, this, the state has been called Where's Where is Huxley? They don't have a record of him. So what's happening. And I think it's legal is that through lawyers, you can, you can rehome their words, um, a child by finding the next home they're going to go to. And then just do by signing some paperwork and all that stuff and just sending them off. But the issue is that that's kind of like, if you think about it, it's a little bit trafficking. So what's to stop somebody then, okay, who, let's say a median income person like myself, what's to stop me from adopting a child, putting up this facade that I'm, I'm bringing him here, and then just rehoming him to a couple who maybe could not get a could not get an adoption for whatever reason, um, couldn't do it. What's stopping you from doing that? Basically, it's a low level child trafficking. I think um, you should take a look at uh, without a crystal balls YouTube videos. I think she's going to get deeper into this type of stuff, the trafficking and all that stuff. That's super, super weird. And I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole because I have no proof and I don't want to blame. I don't want to like accuse them of doing that. But if you think about this, they're, they've gone completely radio silent on this whole thing. They're not saying a word. They are deleting every comment they can. I don't think they're deleting comments. I think they're just, they have a process at YouTube. If you leave a comment, they have to approve it to get on their page and they're just not approving any comments. They have over 3 million views on their channel on this one video. And there's like 1600 comments and they're all positive. So think about that for a second. I mean, I have thousands of comments on my videos and I only have like 60,000 views. So, uh, something obviously they're filtering. Their lawyer has probably told them to shut your mouth. Don't say a word. Don't talk to anybody. One of the things that really gets me to this is that they couldn't afford to pay for Huxley's, um, therapies and things like that. She had, a, she made a video complaining about it, uh, where she's like, I'm not paying someone 500 bucks when I could pay someone 60 bucks. And she's rocking like a $6,500 Cartier bracelet. <laughs> You know what I mean? They got like a mansion and, but then now they can afford a team of lawyers, not just a lawyer. It's literally a team of lawyers. They came out to people and said, this firm and our team have said that they're amazing people. And we're, of course, of course that the people that are paying you $700 an hour, <laughs> of course they're amazing, right? Come on. Let's, let's be real. Does anybody actually believe people believe this, this crap that lawyers and people put out and like, it's I, I that's that's a whole side thing how do people think that we take this they think we're stupid they think people are like yeah cool thanks lawyer <laughs> lawyers so i just it, it gets me it gets me a little bit but you know i've had a couple of comments on my videos about like i wasn't hard enough on the stoppers i wasn't hard enough and i wasn't blaming them or i wasn't blaming james too much I wasn't i wasn't blaming her enough and uh, as i keep watching this thing as i keep seeing the videos of, of of huxley and everything else it just it gets my blood boiling even more i mean it's just it's really if the case is that they just decided they were going to rehome this kid and they did it 
under a lawyer or not or whatever they decided to do first of all it should not be legal for you to rehome a child without the state being a part of it without some kind of government entity taking record doing things like that that again that's that is literally child trafficking like again what is stopping someone from bringing a child in who's able to and then someone paying them to just give this child up to them I'm not saying it happens. I'm saying it probably happens. You, you think about the world and the billions of people in this world and the b- millions and millions of kids who are adopted. You don't think this happens? It absolutely happens. Do I think that they did that? I don't think so. I don't think they meant, I don't think that that went down that way. But what's fishy about this whole thing is because if they go through a private process and lawyers and all that stuff do it, they can actually put in agreements that say, look, we're going to give you this kid, but we're going to keep the Huxley content on our channel so we can make the money off it. They can make those types of agreements. If it were through the state, you know for sure the state would be like, you take them off your channel. You're not allowed to use this this child anymore. It's like similar to to fostering. Um, someone had commented that maybe someone that knew Micah, and this is a conjecture, this is not proven, that someone, she was considering fostering, being a foster parent, but realized that you couldn't YouTube the, the child because you can't YouTube and put out on social media foster kids. Um, and so she decided against that. And a and real adoption process through the U.S., finding someone in the U.S. or in your country in this in Western culture takes years and years and years and years and years. And so what she did was she's adopted a kid that was easy to adopt because they had um, issues, right? They had mental issues or whatever it was that they were seeking because it's easier to adopt those kids because not a lot of people want to adopt those kids for whatever reason, right? I'm not, I'm not going to judge people who don't want to, but... It's so shady, everything that's gone down since this thing went down. So the, the fact that they continue to stay radio silent on this whole thing is crazy. Um, check out MikaStoffer.liar. There's a lot of great information on there that she's been, this person, I don't know, she has been compiling. Um, you need to go to check out Stoffer's Garage and you need to unsubscribe from these channels if you're subscribing to them. Stop watching them. You need to figure out a way to get these people off the internet. If that means leaning on people who are using their services or watching them, uh, it sh- you should be shaming people for watching these and enjoying these videos because they're... They are absolutely atrocious and you should not be feeding into this culture. I also wanted to update quickly. I know and I said a bunch of people have called me on it. Not every YouTube vlogger and influencer family influencers are bad people. I, I, I don't think that. I just think the influencer culture itself really brings narcissistic people into it. And it really is a is not a nice culture all the time. There are amazing people out there doing it. I don't want to negate what they do because there are actually some great stuff that's happening, some some great advice that they're giving out. But like, I guess there's this fetish thing where people like to watch people clean and stuff. It's kind of weird. I don't want to judge you. I don't want to judge your kinks, but um, it is what it is. I just, I wanted to clarify that I don't think every person that is an influencer is a terrible person. Again, I, I realize some, how this looks as a person who's on YouTube putting out this content and it feels like I'm taking advantage of the situation, but uh, I really am. This really does hit me, hit me pretty hard, especially a lot of people who have adopted people who have kids who have, who have these types of disabilities and issues as well too. So that's why it's becoming such a crazy, crazy thing. So get out there, make your voice heard, cancel the stoffers, make sure you get on these channels and leave a million comments. Um, you got, you got to make sure that they're heard um, and you can't let them just get away with it because she's buying Instagram followers. Micah's buying Instagram followers and you can tell. You can just literally tell when someone's why, why is that? Why is that the first thing you do is go buy Instagram followers. You can't pay for your kids to go through the, to get the therapy that he needs, but you can buy Instagram followers. You can pay a team of lawyers. This is not all adding up. There's something deeper going on. This is not the end of it. I wish it was. It's going to get crazy. They're going to be investigated. Something's going to go down. And if it's, and if it's found out that people are child, low level child trafficking in this way, and this uncovers something bigger, this is going to get crazy. So pay attention to this. Don't stop following everybody who's covering this and amplify it by sharing it. Let's get everybody on board for this and figuring it out. Not to say that everything else going on is not important. It's all important. Okay. There's a child life that sits here and we want to make sure we discourage other people from doing this because it's terrible. Okay. That's one of the biggest reasons we talk about all this stuff. We don't want, there's, you know, there's other kids who are suffering from this. So let's, if there's other channels out there, you know, are kind of doing this chachiness, get a hold of me. I don't mind covering it and figuring it out and digging deeper. I'm sure others don't either. I want to make sure that we, we keep these people accountable. Otherwise they're just going to keep raking in money and they're going to keep get sponsored by diaper companies and everybody else. And it's just, we got to stop this. We got to figure out how to make it not this way anymore. Thanks for watching. I hope this update has been a little bit helpful. Moreover, just make sure you get onto the Stoffer's Garage and the Cash Crush and all these channels that they've made and we shut them down. Let's shut the Stoffer's down.